These men were all leaders of cultural change. They risked their reputation and even their lives to preserve liberty. They would not be silenced. What common ground do these nation-shaping leaders share? They were all pastors. Pastors who, from their pulpit, advocated for freedom and against moral injustice. Today's pastors face modern challenges, but have they a lesser call? Does the preeminent call of preaching salvation through Christ conflict with the church's role in proclaiming scriptural truths as they relate to the stated positions of politicians or their party? The answer is no. Pastors have a constitutional right to preach from the Bible, to speak scriptural truth about all matters in American life, and that includes talking about our potential leaders of our government. What would have happened in the past if ministers, whether it be on the issue of slavery or other important issues in our country, had not been willing to speak out against those things which the scriptures tell us are evil. And that's why today we cannot allow our ministers to be intimidated uh, by those in government from speaking out on those things that are important to the people of our country. We're the ones who have equity with the people who are coming. I at least have equity with the thousands of people who attend this church, some equity. Now, I don't order their lives. I don't go tell them what to do. They're going to make their own choices. But I'm going to speak into their lives. And if I'm not speaking into their lives on the issues that, is, that have made the nation great and the issues that God cares about, then who is? In the next decade or so, what America will be for the next few hundred years, I believe, will be decided. Would you want to be someone who stood by and did nothing and had no voice in changing America for good? that lives through years of regret that you did nothing when you could have spoken out? Or will you be someone, no matter how small your congregation is or how large your congregation is, who'll take up the challenge to follow Christ and endure momentary discomfort with trying to figure out how to articulate the message? That is a little price to pay for the benefit that we could bring to the entire culture. At a time when our country needs strong legal organizations to support the Constitution, uh, to defend religious liberty, uh, to speak up and uh, support our moral values. Uh, we are fortunate that the Alliance Defense Fund uh, is a leader because of the quality of its work, because of the methods that, that it uses, because of its ability to bring people together in support of its work. No pastor should fear the IRS. When a pastor speaks scriptural truth and directly addresses the issues embraced by a party or a candidate, and the IRS threatens the church's tax exemption, then to protect his constitutional rights and his church's constitutional rights, he should call the Alliance Defense Fund. Take the step. Become involved. Go to speakupmovement.org or call 1-800-TELL-ADF.